Perspective Plotter Part 4 Move Along View. Move Along View is a mini tool bundled with the Perspective Plotter Blender add on that automates the manual process of moving vertices and objects along a viewport's line of sight. This can save time when creating a 3D model using a 2D sketch or photo where you have no other points of reference. Let's show an example. Load up a new scene and add a background image to the camera. Here we have an image of a jet, but it could be any sketch or photo if the perspective is correct. We have also changed Blender's theme to Maya, as we found the colours easier to work with in this mode. Position the guides of Perspective Plotter as before, so that the camera matches the imaginary camera location in the 2D image. Now, press Ctrl, Alt, Q to enter Blender's quad view mode. This is so we can see the top, bottom and side views. We have also enabled Blender's built-in Extra Objects add-on, which gives us a few more objects to play with. We particularly just want to add a single vertex, which can now be accessed through Blender's Add menu. Add a single vertex to the scene in Perspective View. Now, add a mirror modifier. This will mirror the opposite side of the jet. With the vertex selected, press the G key to move the vertex to a position on the model, for instance to the tip of one of the wings. Press E to extrude the vertex and position it along the other part of the wing. You can do this for all corners of the wing. Note we have not worried about where the vertices are in 3D space, so the vertices that are mirrored float oddly in different positions. We are now going to use this to set all these vertices in the right position using the Move Along View tool. Make sure one of the vertices is selected with the mouse hovering in the perspective view. The fact that the mouse is hovering here is important as the tool will move vertices along the viewport where the current mouse position is. Press Alt Y, which is the default shortcut that can be changed in the add-on preferences. Once activated, move the mouse. You should see in the other viewports that the vertex is moving along the camera's view line, which won't be apparent in the view itself. Guidelines are displayed in other top, down or left, right viewports to show where the view line is. The neat thing here is that the vertex remains fixed from the point of view of the camera, even though you can move it along the view in 3D space. This allows you to place the vertex in the correct 3D position by looking at the opposite mirrored vertex. Once the mirrored vertex is at the correct position of the opposing wing, press the left mouse button to commit. You can also click the right button to cancel. Repeat this process for the other vertices. Then let's pan around the created shape. You should notice that the vertices have been placed in the correct position according to the image's perspective. This should help you efficiently get a wireframe 3D representation from a 2D image, which you can then model further. We hope you'll find this mini tool useful and we'd be interested to see any examples of it in action. Do let us know if you have any questions by contacting us via Blender Market or by emailing info at configurate.net.